What are you doing? Well, we're gonna go with this right here. We're gonna go with one pound of medium shells in boiling water and uh, cook our shells per package. All right, then we're gonna slide over here, right? And we're gonna get into a hot pan, one pound of the ground beef, get that in there. Then we're gonna go with a little bit of uh, onion, get that all chopped up and in there. All right, and then we can't forget about the uh, pink Himalayan salt, little extra, little extra, put as much as you want. And of course, some crushed pepper. All right, and then we're gonna go with some chili powder. And just a little bit, to all the taste, this is all the taste. All right, and then we're gonna go with some garlic powder to taste. All right, little extra, little extra on the garlic powder, and then we're gonna go with last some paprika to taste, all to taste, a little more, little extra, little extra. All right, that's it. We're gonna soften up these onions, and we're gonna fully uh, brown our meat and crumble it. Okay, once we have the ground beef fully cooked, crumbled, and strained out the grease, we're gonna grab two cans of 10.75 ounce tomato soup and we're gonna get that into the meat mixture and kind of start mixing that in you knew it was coming oh yes you did yet yeah, you just didn't know when we're gonna go with off the block mild cheddar we're gonna use all two bags but we're only gonna use one cup of uh, this mild cheddar into the meat mix more cheese please now we're gonna go with a, about a half cup of the mozzarella Get that in the meat mix, and we're gonna get all of this melted in and just a half cup of water to go along with it. Okay, so once we get the pasta like that, fully cooked, fully uh, drained out, strained out, we're gonna grab that warm meat mixture, get it back into that pot like so, and then of course we're just gonna stir all this to combine. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of crushed pepper in there and a little bit more pink Himalayan salt. Get that mixed in, a little, you know, a little more pepper, a little extra. Once you're done with that, you knew it was gonna come out. Yes, you did, didn't you? Hmm, but you just didn't know when. All right, we were gonna go with a nine by 13, right? Because for some reason, I always love the nine by 13. Now, you know, we make a lot around here because we have a lot of people that eat. Not only that, you could reduce everything you've seen and go in an eight by eight, but we like it leftover, spread it all out. More cheese, please. Now you're gonna take the remaining uh, one cup that we had in the bag, so it was a total of two. We're gonna get that spread out on the top side. And you know what? Well, no, we're not using all this, but I probably could. But nonetheless, we're gonna go with about a, just a half cup or so. Now you guys can adjust uh, the cheese to your likings, of course. Okay, guys, we're gonna go 375 degrees. Bake Fahrenheit up in this oven. Now remember, everything's full to cooked already. I just want to warm up that sauce a little more and melt, melt the cheese. All oven times can vary. You just got to keep an eye on it. Once the cheese is melted, we should be good to go. Shouldn't take long at all. See you soon, sunshine. Okay, no time at all, as said, right? There it is, fully cooked, cheese is melted. We're gonna to top it and finish this off with some green onion on top. And would you look at that right there. A cheeseburger casserole? Hmm. Now if this, check this out, is not ever easy. This is one of the easiest, fastest meals you could probably make. Look at that, right? You could put it in a bowl or serve it on a plate like you see me doing, right? Look at that, oh yeah. Not a lot of dishes, not a lot of time. There it is, and here we go. Let's try this bad boy out, ho ho ho. Ooh, ooh. Bon Appetit. <laughs> yes! For a quick meal, this is really good, guys. There's another one in the books that I'll be making again. You need to get out there and try this.